Hi, welcome to Tuesdays with Tara. I'm Tara Abundance, and today I'm going to do an EFT on relationships. So we're going to go through an EFT session, which is a tapping technique that if you're unfamiliar, check out some of my earlier EFT videos where I discuss and kind of explain a little more about EFT and what it means. So we're going to be tapping on the chopping point first, creating and setting up our intention. Then we're going to go up to the top, tapping on the top of our head, on the eyebrow point, side of the eye, underneath the eye, underneath the nose, underneath the bottom lip, collarbone point, and the point underneath the arm, and then sweeping it back up, taking a deep breath, tapping on the top of the head. So the focus today is to take a moment and really just tune in to a relationship that may be struggling right now. It could be a very personal, close relationship, like a partner or a best friend or a parent or a child, or it could be a business relationship or just kind of a, an external friends relationship. Just think about someone that you're really struggling to connect with or someone that you're really not sure if you need to be in a relationship with anymore. And by that, we mean that basically we need to change our energy and our vibration for the right energy to show up to support us, whether it's in that particular relationship or just in general in our lives. So go ahead and think about, take a, take a moment, close your eyes, take a couple of deep breaths. Call to mind someone that you might be struggling with right now. This person could be someone very close to you or someone not very close to you, but someone that you have to spend regular time with. Okay, now that you have them kind of pulled up in your mind, put them in a little bubble off to the side and just know that they are not taking over the energy of your space. So if it's someone that you have a volatile relationship with or that you're very, very uncomfortable with and you're trying to work your way out of that relationship or whether it's someone that you have just kind of momentary, sometimes not really meshing, connecting, not really sure why. Or again, it could be someone that you work with or someone that you see on a regular basis, but you don't have a very tight relationship and you're just not really sure how to connect with that person. So go ahead and keep them set aside in a little bubble that lets you know that they're there, but they're not taking over the space, taking over your energy or bringing any harm or discomfort to you, okay? Now that you see them in the bubble, and this is not a bubble that will pop without your permission. In other words, this person cannot break in to your consciousness or your energy field without your permission. Okay, now let's go ahead and zip up from the base of our pelvis, bring a zipper up to the bottom lip, tap it in. Do this again, if you want to, you can open your eyes and look at what I'm doing. Just bring a zipper from the pelvis up to the bottom lip. And what we're doing is we are zipping up our central meridian. So we're creating this field or this energy to be ours only. This is only your space. And so do this about three or four times, tapping in the energy of a zipped up central meridian. And what that's gonna do is give you the space to really, really be present while you do this EFT process around a relationship that is uncomfortable for you. Okay, now that we are zipped up and we've got our person kind of off to the side in a bubble, Go ahead and think of a phrase that supports an energy around this relationship that supports you finding a peaceful either resolution or balance that helps you relate to this person a little more easily or at least create a space that you no longer have to take anything personally that this person brings up that you can kind of create an energy field that is supports you because the whole point is our relationship with ourselves is the one that's the most important. 
And then the relationships that we struggle with are the ones that tend to take up more energy in our lives. So go ahead and consider a phrase that you would say that would help support you in recognizing your discomfort around this person. So you might say something like, even though I have a really hard time with this person that I'm thinking about, you could say their name if you wish. I completely choose to love and accept myself. Even though I'm really struggling in this relationship and I'm not sure what to do about it, I still completely love and accept myself. Even though this relationship is causing a lot of discomfort and or harm to me or other people, because of this relationship, I still choose to completely love and accept myself. So going ahead and locking those phrases in and then starting at the top, tapping with either hand, doesn't matter, top of the head, even though I'm struggling in the relationship with this person. Again, you can say their name if you wish, but you don't have to. I still completely love and accept myself. Even though my relationship with this person is causing discomfort or confusion or disconnect, I still completely choose to love and accept myself. Side of the eye. Even though I'm really struggling with my relationship to this person and I don't know what to do about it, I still completely love and accept myself. My relationship to this person, my connection to this person in my life that I'm struggling with. Next point. I still completely choose to love and accept myself. Collarbone. Even though I'm struggling in my relationship to this person and I don't know what to do about it, I still completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't know how to create either an end or a resolution or some kind of balance in this relationship, I do still completely love and accept myself. Okay. Even though we forgot <laughs> to come up with a number at the beginning, kind of think about where you were at the beginning of this tapping session. Think about a number that on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst case scenario, one being lowest case scenario, where were you when you were thinking about this person in the very beginning in terms of the energy scale? In other words, where did you feel you might place this relationship? on a scale of one to 10. Okay, so now that you think about that number, kind of be mindful as that number drops. Okay, so as we're doing this tapping session, just notice any drop in the energy around the, the discomfort that you feel around this relationship. Okay, so tapping the top of the head again, thinking about the person that's over there in a bubble, even though I, don't know what to do about this relationship, which causes discomfort, maybe disharmony, lack of connection, confusion, struggle. I still do choose to completely love and accept myself. Next point, even though I'm struggling right now with the person that I have in mind, I do still choose to completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm really struggling and I don't know what to do about this relationship, I completely love and accept myself. Notice if you take a deep breath or if you sigh or if there's an energy shift and kind of tap into that energy while we're still tapping on our points, moving to the next point and breathing, continue tapping, switch to the next point. And just following me as we tap on the energy around this relationship. Even though I don't know what to do about this relationship and I'm struggling to find comfort or peace of mind with this person, I do still completely choose to love and accept myself. Taking a deep breath, going ahead and tapping the top again. Thinking about this person, you don't even have to say anything about the relationship now. How do I feel about this person? 
even though I'm struggling with this person, I completely love and accept myself. Even though there's struggle in my relationship to this person, I completely love and accept myself. When I think about this person and it brings up discomfort or disharmony, keep moving with the tapping points. I still completely love and accept myself. Continue tapping. Notice any breath, any sighing, any shift of energy and vibration. Tapping on the person, the relationship to this person. I still completely love and accept myself. Now getting to the top again and taking a deep breath. Go ahead and just hold the top of your head, close your eyes, take a deep breath. Where are you on the scale now? One to 10, if you started off at a high number, has it come down? And if not, continue tapping on the same energy, okay? What I'm gonna do next, and if you need to pause this video and continue tapping on that energy and that person, until the number comes down, go ahead and do that now. And then in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and move forward with assuming that the number has come down significantly. And as you have continued tapping and moving through this process around the relationship with that person and the number has come down, go ahead and think about that person again. How's the energy feel? Is there discomfort still? And if so, what's the number? Is it lower than it was when you started? And if so, bravo, congratulations. I applaud you. And if not, again, continue tapping. Continue tapping until the right words come along. They may be things like, I don't really like this person, but I have to be in a relationship with them. Okay, that's okay too. Uh, continue saying that because you still choose to completely love and accept yourself. So as that energy breaks up, and you continue moving through that process. Let's find the place within ourselves to recognize that even though this relationship has been a struggle in the past, it doesn't have to take your energy. It doesn't have to take away parts of your energy in your life that you love yourself. It may still be a part of your life that's something that you have to continue having. And at the same time, you don't have to let it rule your field and your energy and how you feel. Okay, so breathing into that understanding, that awareness, recognizing that this person really no longer has control of your energy. You don't have to give it your power. You don't have to give away anything to be possibly connected to this person. What you can do is really feel into, I am willing to shift the energy around this relationship and love myself. So I'm willing to really shift the energy around this relationship and still love myself, no matter what kind of connection I have with this person. I can take less time with this person. I can create an energy where this person doesn't get to me anymore. This person doesn't trigger me. You may even need to do a little bit of tapping on the actual triggers that come up when you are around this person. This person triggers me around blank, whatever it might be. I still completely love and accept myself. When I'm around this person, I'm willing to love and accept myself and know that I come first and I don't have to give my power away to this person. Loving and accepting that I am still whole when I am around this person. I am still perfect and loved and loving and kind and supportive. And even if this person doesn't accept that about me, that's okay, I'm still me. And I get to choose my energy. I get to choose my vibration. I get to choose how I am in relationship to this person because I completely love and accept myself. And I'm willing to create whatever I need to do to support myself when I'm near this person. This person has no power over me because I love and accept myself for who I am, whether they do or not. 
So feeling into that energy. Good. Tapping the top of your head, holding the top of your head and really tuning in. What is the number that you're feeling now? If you need to continue working on that, go ahead and go back a little bit or just pause and do this on your own. And keep saying whatever it is that you need to say to support yourself anytime you're around this person that you were thinking about. So as you are now settling into a new vibration and a new energy, when you think about that person, then the same thing will happen when you're around that person. And if you have to, when you are around that person, just remember, you can tap your finger, you can tap your chop, chop point while it's in your lap whatever you need to do, even if you have to just visualize it happening in your mind as you breathe and say, I'm okay because I love and accept myself. No matter what this person says or does, it's really not about me, it's about them. And I completely love and accept myself. Continue working on that throughout the week with this person or with the relationship that you have with this person. And just notice how your vibration and your energy changes because it certainly will. And as it does, you get to allow yourself to step into your power, be empowered, claim your voice, be you out loud. This is one of those moments where you get to claim who you are, no matter who you're in relationship with. And if you need to do this with more than one person, go ahead and do this with more than one person, because this is about you claiming your power and the relationship that you have with yourself, that you are loved, you are whole, and you accept you for just who you are no matter what anybody else thinks. So have a blessed and beautiful week. Thanks for joining me this week on Tuesdays with Tara. And I look forward to seeing you next week with some more relationship work.